so here is my aseptic lab technique video and first off before i start working i have to make sure that i am working with a clean uh, working surface so first i go off and just spray 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 with the disinfectant and then wipe that off i have a paper towel here to wipe that off and then after i'm done i have to make sure that i have all the working uh, materials with me so here i have um my micro incinerator that is already set up and ready to go and i also have my test tube holder holding both of my test tubes here then right here i have my two petri dishes and i have my inoculating loop right here too so um i've disinfected the surface i have all the materials ready with me so the first technique that i'm gonna uh, start with is transferring the bacteria from one test tube to the other so first off i'll take my inoculating loop in at hand and put it in the micro incinerator for 10 uh, seconds and um, take it out and make sure that it cools down for about a minute and cooling down this is so that you're not killing the bacteria if you put the hot uh, inoculating loop you might end up killing the bacteria so then um, holding the glass part I'll pick up the test tube and using my pinky finger I'll take off the the top and then i'll make sure i sterilize the bottom part of just the opening of the the opening of the micro incinerator for just like two to three seconds and then i'll take my already uh, sterilized um inoculating loop and go for the bacteria here so first off i'll mix up make sure it's mixed up nicely the bacteria then i'll go in with my inoculating loop and just pick up the the bacteria just a bit of it you know is fine not you know too much so i'll pick that up then i'll go ahead and and make sure i sterilize the part and i'll took i took the cup and put it back on and then i'll place back so i have my bacteria here i'll pick up the next test tube that i'm transferring it to i'll pick up again holding the glass part as always and then using the same technique as i did the first time i'll go ahead use my pinky finger to just snap that off and then i'll disinfect it at the opening of our micro incinerator and then um i've already opened it i'll disinfect it and then i'll take my bacteria and just put it in then i'll swirl swirl around to make sure that all my bacteria goes in and you know leaves the inoculating loop and then i'll take that out i'll disinfect it again just sterilize it there and then i'll snap that back and put that away and then i'll make sure you sterilize it in the micro incinerator for 10 seconds and let it cool that was my first technique so my second technique i'm going to transfer transfer bacteria from the test tube to a petri dish so again i already did um, I already disinfected the our inoculating loop by putting it in the micro incinerator 10 seconds and uh, making sure it cools down for just you know a minute then i'll pick it i'll pick up a test tube holding the glass pad um and then i'll snap that off with a pink with the pinky finger and then i'll disinfect that uh, i'll put that right next to the opening of the micro incinerator incinerator then I'll go in with my already disinfected inoculating loop and just go in there, pick up the bacteria, pick up the bacteria. Then again, I'll make sure I, you know, sterilize it again. And then I snap the back, put the test tube back. Then I'll pick, I'll pick my Petri dish and then uh, make sure while you're opening it, you're opening it at that angle looks like a you know a clamshell kind of you know so i'll take i'll take that up open it to that angle and then i'll go in with the bacteria that is on my inoculating loop and just slightly uh, rub off that bacteria there giving that two strikes and then i'll close i'll just close my petri dish and turn it upside down and then place it inside the incubator to incubate i'll go ahead and disinfect my inoculating uh, loop for 10 seconds 
and let it cool. So uh, the third technique that I'll go in, I'll transfer bacteria from one petri dish to the other. So I'll disinfect our inoculating loop, um, let it cool for a minute, and then I'll go for our bacteria from the first uh, thing. I'll open it looking like a clamshell there, and then I'll go at that angle. You don't wanna go going deep, just slightly going at that angle. I'll slightly just uh, get the bacteria lightly there, and then I'll close our bacteria and gently put it aside. I'll take my next plate and also go in the same way, just opening it at that angle, uh, looking like a clamshell. I'll go in with the bacteria at my inoculating loop and just also gently put a st strike it there, put the bacteria there twice, right? And then I'll close it, turn it upside down, and then put it in the incubator. And then I'll make sure to disinfect the inoculating loop and just put that on also aside and then as you're done with all you're doing on your lab surface don't forget to disinfect the surface and make sure that you leave it clean for the next person